and welcome back to No More Heroes on the Nintendo Wii. I am one well sheep yet again, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna head on over to Speed City for the next ranked assassin battle against apparently a witch. And no, not Witch Hazel, and not Grunty either. Although I would love to be fighting against Gruntilda in this game. That would be some stuff, wouldn't it? Soon my claws dirty will be with the stained blood of victory. <laughs> I could totally see her saying that. But if you notice but there, the cat's leaving the house. What? That's... You'll see later on what the big point of the cat leaving that house is and uh, it's, it's kind of subtle. I only recently noticed in this playthrough that the cat sort of leaves the house. Like, otherwise, what's about to happen in this upcoming mission doesn't really make sense and suddenly it's, it's a cat out of nowhere, so just pay attention. Just pay attention and you'll notice the cat leave. But yeah, ranked to fight number three. We're getting closer and ever closer to the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. You can almost touch it. You can taste victory in a glass. Although, like I said, be a bit careful with this boss, upcoming boss battle, because this upcoming boss battle is going to be a bit interesting in how it's handled. Fuck you, you little prick. Fuck you, too. <laughs> it's not how I expected to start a mission. You start off a mission with an insult? Come on. At least... Be clever with your intimidating title card naming. Uh, but I digress. To start things off, we got all these purple, pimpalicious Waluigi knockoffs wanting to stop us. I'm honestly expecting Waluigi to pop out of the corner of one of the buses and just go, Waluigi, wah, Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Luigi's arch nemesis back once again. Oh, boy. You just don't know what you're missing. Wah, ha, ha. Waluigi, wah, ha, ha. Ah, oh, here we go. Get out of here, uh, you people fuck. No, you get out of here. Wah, ha, ha. I should, I should, should like to start a series at some point, like Wild Luigi versus Luigi. Granted, both of them will be my voice because I can't really. I don't know. Well, actually, I know one person can do Wild Luigi's voice, but he's very reluctant to join me in videos, which is kind of depressing. I, I, I really want to make a series with him, you know. Well, Luigi vs. Luigi or something. Ah, uh, but I digress. It's time to just continue wiping out all these mooks. Just keep... You can't move past this entire area until you killed every mook in the stage, so... Just look in all the nooks and crannies. You'll find a lot of these guys tend to be pretty much hidden. And why is there an Easter Island head in the middle of the wall? Let's go... That's the most random attention to detail ever. Why an Easter Island head? Just... Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Fine. I don't care. I don't care. Although we do have quite an interesting set piece coming up, ladies and gentlemen, and it's going to be a set piece that, just like the train set piece, this game loves. I don't know why, the train loves the upcoming set piece, because obviously we're about to drive on the bus. As you can expect, we're going to be fighting on the bus. Neat little way to change things up, I guess, you know, but... The way this... The fighting on a bus handles, or instead of being like in a, a normal third-person perspective, like you expect, like you'd expect, because it's no room on the bus really to move in more than forward and backwards, they decided to make it like a 2D beat 'em up perspective, which I kind of like. So there we go. There's some mooks, and has he got? I don't know if that's meant to be a sword or some sign of some kind of baton he's wielding. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's a sword because I have a lightsaber. A baton isn't exactly what I would consider to be quite tricksy. But we can we can now, because there's so many enemies in a single area with this particular stage, we can actually finally see the true power of the Tsubaki Mark II. Look at, just look at the devastation. Look at the, the people who are avoiding the... Yo, come on game, I'm, I, don't make me out to be a liar, I assure you. There we go, that's a bit better. And to top things off, we're about to transform Super Saiyan. Oh my god, it's delicious. Oh, I haven't had a power-up in a long time. And like I said, I wasn't joking with the Super Saiyan and the power-ups. Actually, another thing about it, this is the first power-up we've had in a good few parts. Good God. Unfortunately, we lose it almost as quickly as we get it because the game's power-up system is complete and total ass. And I have explained why many times the power-up system in this game could be improved so many ways. So many ways. 
Like, just allow us to keep the power-ups after a cutscene or something, and it's... Don't cut out the power-up, it's just more annoying than anything. Now you'll find, because of the way the perspective is handled, this game isn't obviously designed to be a 2D side-scrolling slice of hack and slash, isn't it? So, you'll find the camera will sometimes be questionable in these areas, where they'll sometimes zoom in on the stage. Like When the camera zoomed out like this, it's perfect. It's very easy to tell what's going on, who's behind you, who's in front of you, and what you're doing. But when you zoom in, sometimes the camera will try and angle itself so you can try and get behind you. And when it does that, it just freaks out and it, it basically becomes really hard just to figure out, oh, okay, I'm meant to do... It just becomes hard to tell where the enemies are and what they're planning, you know? But, uh, I digress. Leave me alone! For the love of God, leave me alone! Although this section doesn't go on for very long, you know, ladies and gentlemen. We're pretty much at the end of it now, I believe. Right? Yep, we're at the end of the section now. Like I said, pretty short section, but I like it. I like it a lot. Travis, hello? Next up is a ranked match. Win and rank three is yours. Lose and you're sitting on the devil's lap. Did you have any sweet dreams? If you didn't dream about me, I'll fucking kill you, I swear. If I ever hear you say another woman's name on your feet, you'll wake up the next morning with your joystick missing. Got it? Anyway, make sure you go to the bathroom first. And when you are ready, step inside. Now, Travis, don't be getting any funny ideas. Things between you and I have not changed one bit. You are still a loser. Nothing can change that. Honestly, where do you think you're heading? There are legions of more powerful opponents out there. Never forget that. Keep your feet on the ground, your head out of the clouds, and a stiff upper lip. I am 3,602,600,218% certain you will die. But trust your force and head for the garden of madness. The number of how cont how, th how much she thinks we're gonna die tends to increase a hell of a lot. This this bus has no driver. <laughs> There's no one driving the bus. What? Like, how is this being? I shouldn't I shouldn't bring logic into this. It's a video game. You must remember that logic doesn't count. It's a video game. No, I'm calling Ball. Where's the driver? Come on, you couldn't you honestly couldn't get like a low poly guy from like a PS1 days and like the cat. <sighs> Seriously, that bugs me. Why is there no driver? That honestly annoys me. That entire sequence as well runs better than most of this game. So wouldn't a few polygons at the front of the bus you know, just be a to help? Yeah, I digress. It's time to save our game. Now, this year upcoming boss fight, like I said, just before we got on the bus, well, just before we started the mission, is actually one of the more interesting ranking battles in the game because it's not so much a battle per se as it is a challenge to get to the boss. Well, what do I mean? Well, you're about to see what I mean. Because I'm not going to spoil it, no. What do you... What do you take me for? One of those low-grade YouTubers with, like, no quality shirts? Ha! I say, ha! Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to upload a black screen to earn more views. <laughs> uh, I'll never do that. I'm not that stupid. But I digress. Time to head on to the battle. Stay back! This one's mine! So back off! What? A cat? <laughs> you frightened me for a second, Kitty. Master! <laughs> But 
I have nothing left to teach you. Aim for the top! Remember, master your katana, and the power will be yours. Why are all men so freaking ignorant? They never learn, no matter how old they get. They never learn. You are the third ranked assassin, bitch. <clears throat> You were saying, Sonny? I asked if you were ranked third. What? What'd you say? I said, are you the third ranked assassin, Granny? What? Say that again. See, I, I, I'm kind of hard of hearing. I can't hear much these days. Are you ranked third? Ah, this time I heard you. Yeah, I am. Okay, there. It's complete. That's right. Don't you see? Idiots. All men are. Why should I even bother killing you? Even if you had nine lives, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, oh, I just love losers who don't care for their own lives. Ugh. That's a face only a mother could love. So ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to take on this assassin, and like I said, this isn't a traditional boss fight. She, instead, she's gonna shoot this gigantic screw-off laser beam that Goku wish... Basically, he's gonna, she's gonna shoot Dragon Ball Z laser blast at you. And what you're gonna need to do throughout this, this particular mission is run all the way up to her while dodging the laser beam that's firing. Obviously, the closer you get to her, the more frequently she will fire the laser beam and the more often you'll want to break into these houses and break down each of these doors. The doors will be on the marked on the map with a red little, basically a red dot to indicate, oh, you can destroy these things. So destroy the doors, go inside the rooms whenever you think you're going to get blasted by a laser beam and that's all she wrote. Now, if you get hit by the laser beam, it isn't insta-kill, but, 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 big but, you will take a hell of a lot of damage. I mean, a lot of damage. Like, I just about... I, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't actually die, you know, get hit then. Like, I risked that way too much. Honestly, in this mission, it's not hard, but being patient is the key to victory. And if you're like me, and uh, I, trust me, I'm like the most impatient person on the planet, then uh, good luck, good luck. But once you get close to her as well, at the very end, you'll find that she will infinitely hit you and you will not be able to go near her. Now, the big reason behind that is because this boss fight is more of a puzzle boss than it is a traditional, everyday, run-of-the-mill, kill the boot, you know, because we need to try and get to her, obviously. And when we reach, when we reach close to her, there's a certain telephone pole that we'll need to domino effect to take her out. What do I mean by that? Well... Trust me, you'll see. You'll see when we get to it. I don't want to spoil a surprise. One thing I kind of find interesting as well, the, the graphics of the laser beam are done in a weird way, so... If you see her laser across the side of, like... If you see her laser beam on the s when you're inside a building, sometimes you can see through the walls and see lightsabers of enemies that are so hidden me in the walls. Because, ladies and gentlemen, there are enemies hidden be behind walls and what have you. That's, well, well, basically, they're just there to pad out the boss fight, I suppose, and give you a little bit of challenge, because otherwise this is a boss fight without actually a fight, you know? I, I love the music is playing this boss as well. It's probably the most original song in the game, because it's... Most of the music in this game are either... But this one's a bit more of a action-y Sonic Adventure 2-sounding battle theme, you know? So I, I like it, I like it. It sounds better, it sounds different. It's something new to listen to. Uh, but I digress. Anyway, I think we're getting, we're actually getting close to the end of the battle as it is right now, because th this ranked assassin is, there's not really not much to her at all. Like, really not much. Yeah, now I think about it, if we go through this doorway back here, we're pretty much set, I think. But first things first, trading card, because we went... Yeah, we're pretty much set. Just go around here, and eventually we'll come across a telephone pole. Actually, there it is right there. 
And if you try to run up to her from this point, you will it's impossible to get to her. She'll keep hitting, shooting her laser beam out so quickly that it's just... Well, you're, you won't be beaming, you know, you, you won't have the big smile on your face because, like I said, impossible to get to her. And being impossible to get to her means that's no good. So yeah, be sure to take this back alley. It's, like I said, it's a bit more of a puzzle boss than anything. But, uh, hey, if you know what you're doing, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So yeah, see this telephone pole by here? Slice it down. I said slice it down. There we go. And as I mentioned, it will domino downwards as well. So that's all good. Fine and dandy, isn't it? Mm, yes. See, if she was a bloke, I'd say she was compensating for something with that cannon, but unfortunately she's a female. So, that's depressing. But just keep running up to the cannon now while it's stunned, and we're going to be able to take her down once and for all. Oom -ray. Pretty good boy. Damn right. I'm an apprentice of the Master. Thunder Liu. He was a good man, and I hope one day you'll be as good as he was. Count on it. A little present for you. Farewell. And good night. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's yet another ranked match down and out. Oh, I can feel the end of the game coming closer. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh. Of course, with this one as well, we actually gain access to Thunder Ryu's katana as well that we can grab hold of. And a maximum vitality increase, which we actually got, which is strange considering last time we didn't get one. So yeah, this will actually... This katana... You need to pick it up because this is the key to getting the final ending. This is the key to unlocking the best beam katana in the game. So just be sure to make sure you have it, you know? Congratulations, you are officially ranked third. Only two more to go. It is really cool how they all die. I'm going to really call it cool, more as you would expect, we are the protagonists, they are the bad guys, we've got to kill all the baddies, even though everyone seems to be pretty neutral in the, in this game, in terms of their motivations, you don't, there's no real bad guys in this game, so much as there's people who are just like you that want to kill you. It's kind of weird actually how this game, uh, it's more neutral in that regards. But anyway, I digress. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. When we return next time, we'll do some more side stuff. Yay. So don't be sheepish. I'll catch you all then. Bye.